Well, greetings, everyone. This is Casentino again. As I said last night, we'll be doing. In I get the no, oh, no. I guess that's how it's going to have to be. As I said last night, we'll be doing Romansylvania, a twist of um, dating simulation, and Castlevania. So. So we got going to be that interest going to be interesting there. Um, just throw that. Let's get right into it. I guess there's not much. I don't know. This just like um, Marwin. This is my first time playing it. I just recently bought this. So, um, so hopefully there will be. Nothing bad going on. Um, and this is why I have a screen for Twitch. In case I stupidly forget to switch it to the gameplay. Okay, there we are. Oh my god, you can't hear me. That's cool. Oh man. I okay, I I lied. I have played this a little bit. I'm not that far into it. So options. Everything's at top. Okay. Let's get a new game going on for this. Okay, yeah. That's would be my Okay, Nibble, focus more on story, blow through the action, get to the juicy narrative bits. Excuse me, director's choice, medium challenge for a balanced experience. Or for the experienced gamer who expects a bit of punishment. Uh, we're going to just go with a bite for right now. Ninety-nine years, and the wound is still raw. Once, long ago, I rode a tide of blood and glory. But now the flow's coagulated, infected, beats no more. Defeated by a human, my lover leaving me in disgrace. I simply cannot forget. So here I sit in the ruins of my life. Go away. <laughs> ruins the of the Cabal. Hey, here we go. Side to side, jump. Dead. Oh. Time has come to all. All in. Oh, to all in. We call upon you now to check your availability. Will you join us as we raise hell, or will you fold as per normal? 
Now it is your turn to come down to River Sticks. He has had to be moved to the employee lounge, this time as the food court is being retiled. Ah. Hmm. Uh, poker game? With the guys? Wow, they invited me back after all this time. Perhaps this is worth a visit. Magically, the curtains are. Dramatic exit. Well, look who finally emerged from his throne room of shame. It's only been a century. <laughs> You hit thirty-five dollars inside a freaking chest. Well, that was worth it. Up his sleep. Rats! <laughs> what? I, okay, I guess I did. Rax Bats can. I, okay. <laughs> Yeah, 
You know, you couldn't, you couldn't have gone without graffitiing my damn walls, you sons of bitches. Somehow that was way more satisfying. Except then now I have to go back and collect all the crap that I did for us. Oh shit, you mother effer. Perhaps the Dark Cabal has finally accepted my plight. No more you're wasting your afterlife this, or she's gone and it's time to let her go that. I could have gone around that thing. Nope, that would have been too damn easy. Down now, burger. I'd go for a burger. Of course, last time I tried to go to buy a burger, the place was closed. Your poker game was a ruse. Welcome to your new life. Sometimes, really? The time of choosing has come. For your sins, there will be hell to pay. <sighs> I've done literally nothing in a hundred years. Yeah, and that's the point. <clears throat> in the century... Since you renounced slaughter, you've thrown the balance of life and death off kilter. The Dark Lotes of Cabal has the solution. Please, no more of your solutions. Have it your way. The Cabal has set your penance. Introducing. <laughs> oh, God damn. Love at first bite. 
a reality dating show starring you. And here I was thinking defeat and disgrace was rock bottom. The world's sexiest monsters will compete for your affection. Drama, romance, and hilarity will ensue. Meanwhile, I got two dancing Chris Kelts. The Cabal is truly malicious. Is there nothing I can do to escape this fate? No. <laughs> Let me guess, if I don't agree, you'll end the world, right? Am I that predictable? Grim, last time I RSVP'd no to your birthday party, you had three of the horsemen deliver me a slice of your cake. <laughs> Live a little! What's the worst that could happen? You get a new castle and a new lover? I don't want a new lover. I want my old life back. The past is past. All you can do is move forward, and this is the path you have to take. Well, let's get on with it. Any more surprises? Now that you mention it, Yes, the DLC wants you to really feel your best self on the show, so they're willing to give you some choices. Okay, do we want base the basic track? I, I kind of want to do the basic track for this one, or do we want to do this, the uh, big titty track? Um. Oh man. You got grab my invisible. Oh, oh. Oh, you can see it now. Okay, we're not. Let's. This, oh, this is drag sound. Everything. Love bites. When will this ridicule come to an end? I regret everything. I regret everything. Oh, you with those choices yeah gorgeous now let's get on with the show in the heart of transylvania something awakens what happens when over a dozen sexy singles get a chance to win the cold undead heart of a vampire legend watch as some become friends others become enemies and one lucky monster will be the one to capture drax love this is love at first bite. There's three flames. Mind you, I do have the subtitles on and it did not have the subtitles going, so. Oh, this fucking camera. Anyway. Welcome to your painstakingly remade castle. Oh, before I forget, you got a pit pipe. Wakey, wakey. Okay. Wow. I hate that I don't have something to put on this camera so it just stays where it is. What in the hell did you do to me? That weird feeling you're feeling. Yeah, sorry, you're powerless. For now. For now. Do enough power to rip your... Relax, hothead. This is for your own good. Gotta make the show interesting. You'll get your powers back when you earn them. <laughs> your first challenge is to find and meet the initial cast. Meet the cast. Oh, yes. We just got freaking... in, um... Symphony at Night. Let's 
save. Bring you save. Potential flames. Quite a tasty selection, I must say. Oh, and you don't have to date everyone. Some are good as friends, or even frenemies, which you know I'm always down for the drama. my double jump <laughs> Grim is so sorry but backstage is not open yet <laughs> know what you need a sidekick introducing drum roll I said drum roll bada boom <laughs> Bada boom, your personal bat assistant will light up, make the way, and by feeding bata boom treats, he can even heal Drac. Feed bata boom, simply equip a treat by toggling through your tricks or and treats. You can also view and equip all your tricks and treats by holding. I I don't know. I think it's our for me. Yeah, that's my word. Uh, oh, I think uh, it's bow. No, that's a boomerang. Are you shitting me? Wait a minute, I'm I'm just this is the first time I'm lo really actually looking at this thing. Did did she leave Drac for freaking Grim? Oh no wonder he hates him. And that's what, what it is. Oh. Enter long oh, damn it. Light, be smooth. Mm. How do I handle this? Mm. Oh, light me. right now. Would you like company? We don't want any. Pardon my informal greeting. I am Drac. You must be the genie. <gasps> She's a genie. Hey, I got a pickup line for this one. <laughs> Since she's a genie, I get three rich wishes, right? How about tits, ass, and you, baby? Hey! 
Damn, nailed it. Wow, you get right to it, don't you? Yes, I'm a genie. <coughs> no, you can't have any. I wasn't implying anything inappropriate. Wishes. I can't grant you any wishes. I'm off duty. This is my vacation. Off duty? Ah, so you left your bottle at home. No bottle. But speaking of bottles, this drink is much better if you pour it over ice. Mind nabbing me some? Hmm, I'm gonna handle this. I just could just grab some ice from somewhere and try and get something later in the this. One up. No Always much, one up. Vess. I shall do you one better. Fetching you the ice is not a problem, but I know of a place locally that has some truly inventive garnishes. Expect both. Oh, that sounds cool. Mm. They will have different things they want to discuss. You have chances to meet up with them or for various conversations with yeah. Be sure to check around Drax Castle periodically. You never know where you'll find cast hanging out when someone will have something new to discuss. Yeah. Actually. Oh, okay. So look at the camera or don't look at the camera? Right. I'm Vashana. That's for short. Sorry, I just don't love cameras or random people, so this is hard. So, Ice, you know what that is, right? Tell me about yourself. Not much to report, Chief. <laughs> I'm a genie. I've got some insurmountable issues that make being on this show an absolute joke. And I make killer drinks. We good? I got all that. It's Vess on paper. I want to know you. What's your past? Where are you from? What do you want? Huh. You're full of surprises. <laughs> well, I'm from ancient Akkad, and honestly, being a genie was pretty great for a while. I was worshipped, you know. It was pretty amazing. Sure, I've had a rough millennia, but I know you've been through a long dry spell as well. Nice to know we can relate on some level, even though I'd rather not get into details. And as far as what I want, well, it's not really the same as you. I know you want that old life back, but I know there's no going back. So really, all I want is to be happy when I can. I've got a lot of obstacles, so I take little joys when they bubble up. And surprisingly, that includes this conversation. So thanks, I guess. In the What's going on here? I'm prepping! Oh, gross of her. I Preparing forgot what for what? The hotties! The world's sexiest monsters from all space and time gathered in one place with one thing on their mind. Bootay! Is that the only thing on all their minds, I wonder? Once they see me, it will be... Woo -woo! <laughs> Mm. 
I believe the show revolves around me finding love. Wow, what is the little mask? I'm sorry, I I mean what a little son of a bitch drag can be. Right, and I get all the leftovers. Oh, Drac ditched me! Come here, baby. Hop on the Incubus and we'll head to town. I suppose a little friendly competition wouldn't be the worst thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's on my vamp slice. Damn, I'm just Watch out for Mr. legitimately disappointed Gold. about that now. The cup of work doesn't work now. Enjoy cleaning up my scraps, Inky Boy. <laughs> Crank it! They should load up. With Speaking Bruce of, Burr. does it need to be this loud while we talk? You don't love the beat? My own. But yeah, it's a bit thin there, huh? I wouldn't know. Not exactly musically inclined. You don't have to soften the blow. I just can't find a sound that's new. Oh, hey, Grim wants the rest of us contestants or whatever to stick to the castle. While you're out, you think you could keep an ear out for some new sounds to sample? You can count on me. Come here, baby. Hop on the Incubus and we'll head to town. Yeah, I, I got nothing. Level whether you want to be friends or lovers, this cast member likes you more now and will get rewarded with more than just attention. And your relationship improves with a cast member, Grim rewards you with more of Drax's abilities. Elsewhere in Drax's castle, you can find a shop where Grim will let you spend your hard earned tokens of affection. Mm. Yo, yo, yo! I'm Brosifer! I love fat beats and thick butts. I love to ink your bust to move at the club. I'm an ink your beast at the gym and ink your boink everything I see. Already? You find me a new sound? Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a self made man of music. I love tasty beats, tasty booze, and tasty blondes. Or brunettes. Or balds. Whatever, I'm not picky. Clearly, I'm also the life of the party. That's no surprise, considering this place would be like a funeral home without me. What about you? I've heard legends about you, but after I'm seeing the real thing in front of my eyes, I'm curious. What's the real Drac like? You're the first to ask, actually. Well, I'm here because, well, because Grimm literally forced me to. But once I warmed up to the idea, I realized I want to get my life back. I miss being on top of the world, feeling powerful, unstoppable. I want to recapture my youth and feel like myself again. So, even though I'm like, ancient, I still feel young, understand? It's all attitude, it's all swagger. Keep it fresh, mix it up. You gotta find what lights you up, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm on a mission to find a new groove. Music today? It's all been done. I'm ready for the next big thing. That keeps me young and fresh. I think the show will do that for you. I'm really looking forward to getting to know you, Vamp. You're all right. Okay. Now to find the last one. And then, oh, okay. What's this? Chocolates. Web 
weapons, Jack can imbue them with elemental prop power. Each crystal color represents a different element. Slot crystals. Who's using them? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Words. Okay. Totally forgot how to. Let's go up here first. Let's go over here first. I'll enter the gallery. I think, you know, I think, okay. I just, oh, here he is. Time to upgrade, Drac. Miss cooldown. I'm become poison. We need the poison. Places to be, people to reap, one more chance. Seriously? <laughs> Um, 
fine. We won't go that way, Drac. Or Grim. This isn't suspicious of uh, what? War game of death. What? Those treats are bad a boom. Mm. I'll get you some later. I'm missing something here. Oh no, I have to go through the gallery. That's right. I'm thinking to myself, I was King. I didn't get too far in, but I got past. Um, I did find the first, like, boss. Well, not boss. Got through that boss. I uh, found an actual boss.
dead. Okay, so I beat boss. Whoops. Battering. Get a little. What the hell? Ah, sorry. Got bored and decided to use my eye lasers. Oh, you must Pardon be the my headmistress. Huh? Huh? Get it? Huh? Oh, stop playing shy. Get over here, killer. <laughs> wow. Those things have got some firepower. Right? Good thing I don't hold grudges when it comes to old pals. But I am an ex. I don't think of you as an ex. No? I think of you as a tepid husk I used to use for my personal enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> You're right to take me down a peg after all that happened. Husk it is. A husk I wouldn't mind using again, had I a body. I didn't want to bring up the... Elephant in the room. Well, yes. <laughs> I'm sure it's a sore spot. Nah, I can't feel a thing. <laughs> See, she don't appreciate it. A really bad pickup line like a mine. <laughs> this isn't going how I planned. What did you think was gonna happen? You were gonna come in here, grab me by the snakes, and stick your tongue down my throat? Among other things, yes. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit. <laughs> but seriously, I promise I'm not out for vengeance. At least with you. Now, how can we have a little fun? Grim said if I played nice, maybe I'd have my bod back by the end of this garbage fire. I know there's nothing you love more than a little destruction, but... Wait, okay, trust me on this. <laughs> Why do I feel... 
feel a sudden sense of oh man not wrong not wrong because you're with me now listen up there's a rumor that my body has been spotted in the sewers <laughs> Looks like you're headed to Greece, hot stuff. Keep your head down, nose to the ground, don't throw any golden apples, or declare one goddess is more beautiful than another. And do not trust the big wooden horses. Now giddy up! Like I need an introduction. I'm in friggin' textbooks for Zeus's sake. <laughs> Body. Eat the cats. I want to thank everybody. I want to thank Medusa for blowing up that wall. <laughs> Find Medusa's head at enemies. All right. Someone Medusa's head, and someone Medusa or her head at least. <laughs> Press down and forward and attack to form a Hadouken. Hadouken. That's three cast members. Congratulations. Hadouken. Now that you've uh -huh. met everyone from this episode, it's time to vote someone off. But I have barely had a chance to get to know them. Do you think I'm superficial enough to let people go based on one measly conversation? You're right. Oh, peep that gorge lighting. Know what this is? This is the golden hour. No, not a prime time for photo op, silly. It's time to chat up the cast. Head to the Gold Room Lounge, exclusively open during the actual golden hour. Right now. And get to know everyone. Or I've set up a cozy dinner for two in the dining room. You know I don't eat. But they might. Anyway, it's a great <laughs> opportunity to wrong. take one on a romance test run. See if there are any sparks. What do you say? I suppose you're correct. Just meet me on set once you're done and we'll give someone the boot. Sounds a bit unkind. The axe, the old heave-ho. Oh, this is dramatic. How about the black rose? Ooh, gothic yet romantic. I like. Black rose it is. Now, get chatting or spatting. <laughs> Now I gotta find the room. Oh. Head to oh. Rosifer or Medusa. Light mess for a drink. It's hey. weird. Like, surreal, I mean. I do like having my needs met and having a place that feels like I could get comfortable, but yeah, all the weirdos running around for Grimm, all the unnatural stuff. Pros and cons, I guess. I'm not crazy about fake, but 
I gotta admit, that bone daddy's got swag. I have similar thoughts. It looks so much like my former home and yet not even close. But I suppose it's growing on me. Thank you for your honesty. I've learned to listen more than I speak, so maybe keeping quiet here's a good idea. I don't want my opinions to get cut up and spit out to an audience out of context. Why would Grimm do that? Um, you really don't know what a reality show is, do you? You've seen those confessionals, right? You do realize they may not show what a person says before or after? All I know is that Grimm's got something up his sleeve and I'm not playing into it. Loose lips sink ships, but they're good for ratings. Glad we talked, Vess. Me too. See you around. Oh, yeah. Cool. See you on the flip. Okay, Brucifer. Oh. It's Lynn. Oh man, the swag factor here is just... It's just tight. It's got a beat of its own, and I'm feeling it, you know? Like, oops, 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 oops. Anyway, I like it here. I can still keep me PBD routine, too, which I was worried about maintaining. PBD? Yo, it's my lifestyle brand. Pump as in pump iron, and, you know, like, doing it. Bump as in bumping music in the club, and, you know, like... Doing it. And D is for dental floss because, man, Hottie's noticed your teeth before anything else. Gotta keep them fan crevices tight. Hmm. Ah, yes, of course. I also keep my fan crevices tight. Oh my god, what? Oh, I didn't notice the can, the audience members, and the... <laughs> I can't say I'm too pleased with the selection just yet, but this is just round one. Vess's curse singed my unmentionables when I told her what I wanted to wish for, and Medusa's tongue's got potential, but those damn little boogers on her head keep trying to gnaw my horns. <laughs> I'm glad we talked, Brosifer. Me too. It's very breakable. Listen, I get that Grimm's got a budget and all, but I could take most of this place out with one eye closed. They just don't make party castles like they used to, am I right? <laughs> but it could be worse. The fact that I live in a place that is literally called ruins is enough to make me want to swallow knives. So yeah, this is an upgrade. Thanks. This gallery doesn't suit you. Once we get that body back, I'll find you a room befitting your station. Whatever. If I've got legs and something between them, who needs a room other than yours? Your head will do until then. Oh, hell yes! <laughs> She's not hard to please, is she? Why would Grimm ever choose such trashy and ludicrous people for you to choose from? Then I remembered this was a show, and the best way to get ratings was to have multiple train wrecks. <laughs> Obviously, I'm the shoo-in, and Vess is the friend zone. So Brosifer is the wild card that will distract viewers from the fact that I'll be all up in your fangs as soon as the sun sets. Ah, I see. Well, do you like Vess at least? She's got some spirit, all right? We ancient chicks stick together, not like these new world freaks. And man, can she make a drink! She even gave me a dozen straws for my babies to sip. Top-notch gal! Ten out of ten. So nice chatting today, Medusa. Same. Come anytime. I'm clearly not doing anything. 
Okay, so we leave. Anyway, yeah, I'm actually stoked to be here. Something to do. Some hot stuff to look at. And hey, if I get my body back, look out, world! And I do mean that literally. And as far as exes go, I'm not that one. The one Drax all schmoozy and sad about. That's them. She's still on the back. Yep, there she is. You smell too good to have gone to the sewers yet. Did you find my body? Tell me about yourself. What you trying to do? See what I've been up to in your absence? I'm like stone, unchanging over the years except getting a little more worn down. You know me, Drac. Always have. There's nothing I've seen in the past 2,000 years that would fundamentally change who you remember me as. I'd still blow the place to Hades if I could, except for you. Mm. Grab me a match, and I'll join you. That's the spirit. Certain spot. beginning backstage that's what I'm looking for here it is Table for two coming up. Oh, that's right. <coughs> well, this is nice. <laughs> I hope you're ready to feed me. I'm famished. Well, since I can't eat, I'm more than happy to assist. Peel me a few grapes and feed them to me slowly. Like, 
Like you just plucked the eyeballs out of your enemies and you're luxuriating in their defeat. She's very uh, descriptive. Ah, like that time in Carthage. You remember. <laughs> that was a night I couldn't forget if I tried. Remember that guy with the horse? Please, take me. Just spare Nico. Good times. But I'm a different person now. That kind of slaughter is behind me. We can pretend. Now, for those eyeballs. With pleasure. Jeez. Drag, buddy, would you be so kind as to meet me backstage? ASAP, like now? Yeah, after I've already dated everyone else. Well, this is nice. I told them all, this is, well, this I, is nice. Um, I don't eat, but yeah, it's a nice idea, I guess. I can't eat either, so I suppose we're at least on equal footing. Since we won't be stuffing our mouths with food, I think that may free up some time to talk. I'd like that. Well, Vess, what would you want to do on a date? What's a fun night for you? Wow, I actually haven't thought about that. It's not that I haven't dated. My best friend is amused, so she tries to inspire me with blind dates all the time, but they are never my idea. I guess I'd like to see new places. Go to a city I've never been to and just explore. I'm in- Huh, novelty. That's interesting, because I'm pretty old myself, but my idea of travel used to just be, you know, conquering. Not exactly sightseeing. Conquering, not saying so. <laughs> I get that. You weren't really getting a feel for anywhere. I like to try to get a place's pulse. And I'd prefer to drain it. <laughs> but not now? Oddly, no. I think I'd actually like to see more, know more, understand more. Starting with you. Don't push your luck. I'm a bit of a dead end in the dating respect. But I think I'd like to maybe see some places together. Just don't ransack, okay? If I get to spend time with you, it's a deal. Okay. And let's just go with Bros for. Well, this is nice. <laughs> Yo, this is too classy for a guy like me. Burger Lord's more my speed. You aren't fond of fancy meals? <laughs> oh, I mean, this is ballin', but the folks at fast food places are more my speed. Show up at Taco Amigo at 3 a.m. looking for a burrito and a hottie to go, you know? <laughs> Out all night, just trying to satisfy everything at once. So this is too slow? My lifestyle's on the go, understand? I do, but this place, it might be a nice change of pace for you. Sure, just... I'll eat this. What is it? Wellington? I'll eat this Wellington tonight. But see if that kitchen can rustle me up some late-night tacos and triple stack burgers nice and late. I imagine Grim can make this happen. Man, this place is pretty solid. Thanks, Drac. This is fun. Okay, now to the backstage. Hey, do 
Are we gonna need an understudy? Uh. Oh. Ugh. Jack, if you see any PAs in red, that means you can drink them. They volunteered. <laughs> PAs means you find in red, you can drink them. Problem. I'm listening. I'll just cut right to the chase. We've blown through our funding. What does that mean? It means the show can't continue. Tell me why I should care. No money, no show. No show, and the DLC is not gonna be happy. DLC. <sighs> what do I need to do? You need to go and talk to that dick down in accounting. What's his name? Dick. dick. Yes, you said that. I need his name if I'm to gaze into his soul and convince him to loosen the purse strings. The dick's name is Dick. And he's going to really need to loosen the strings if we're going to make this the success it needs to be. Say no more. I'll have one of the production assistants leave out one of your powers so you can get down to that pencil-pushing pecker.
I do what that is. thing about nostalgia, I may caution Drac to get over the past, but we know everyone can't do without it. What can I say? When you're in showbiz, you gotta embrace the inner hypocrite. Hi, Dick. I am here to negotiate more money on Grimm's behalf. Right. Office hours, 815 to 830. <laughs> Office hours later. Fuck's sake. Your schedule. I wait for no man's timetable. Unfile grievance. Gather all the facts from all parties involved. Get copies of pertinent documents related to grievance, bulletins, notices, blah blah blah. It's... What the fuck? Don't you get flip with me. I oughta. Notice the termination, Drac. Date now. <laughs> he didn't authorize request violating the steps to submit a proper monetary the proposal with appropriate supporting documentation. Sticking the purpose of the funds were <laughs> allocated and when. Number two, not wearing a tie. You are firing me. You can't fire me. Jesus. I will torch every last paper in this mundane daymare of a rat race.
so I do not. Dick. Cash money! This is it! 
We're going big time. Now we can fully realize my vision. Drac, I, I can't thank you enough. Come meet me on the stage. How about this safe point? production here, but you earned yourself a prize. Wolf Dash. Awesome. Now we'll what do you say, Drac? You're ready to decide who gets the Black Rose? The show on the road. Fabulous. Now remember, once you voted a cast member off, they're off for good. No coming back. Okay, yeah, I could remove Bruce Burr from the show. Yeah. If there's one person in this house who could give me a run for my money, it's you, Brocifer. I've never met anyone as magnetic with such an easy personality and penchant for the fun things in life. With you here, there was never a dull moment. But unfortunately, it takes more than fun to steal my heart. I don't feel bad letting you go, because I know you have so much ahead of you. With that smile, that oh my god, beats, and that am I the only attitude, one who feels like they want to get puke everything in their mouth? In life. Just not me. Man, I should have just made it short and simple. Here is your black rose, Brocifer. Go forward and success, my friend. Now, Drac, I know that was a tough decision, but... Mm. Look at you! Coming out of your shell already, trying new things, meeting new people! I didn't know I was going to have to vote cast off. That was tougher than I thought. It's only going to get tougher from here on out. Drac, one more surprise for you after that stunning elimination. Let's find... Since you've been such a sport about moving on and moving ahead... And because this is gonna kill it in the ratings, I present to you your centuries long rivals, the Van Helsings. The what? I hate you. <laughs> yeah. Did I just blow your mind?
What? Grim, you skinny bitch, what have you done? No! Well, that was only partially unexpected, but we'll get this under control. Drac, in the name of safety, let's just have you keep one of the Van Helsings. Go fuck yourself, Grim. To date? Never! These fiends just blew up the set, not to mention they're my mortal enemies. I know, but the contract says we gotta keep one. Once we do that, everything will be just fine. Just pick the one you'd most want to boink. I gave up Rosifer for this. <laughs> this is not a fair trade-off. This is bullshit. Oh my god, this is bullshit. Total, absolute bullshit. Hey, let's get off one of the guys that you thought was going to stick around the castle. All right, and you could, could like, you know, get to know, be get friends with, and maybe he fucking becomes a rival or some shit. And then, nah, nah. Let's get, let's have you pick one out of three people of a group of, of a family that wants to, who spend their entire lives trying to kill you. How is that for, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Fuck you, Grim. Fuck you. Fuck you and whatever hell spawned you. <laughs> you sack of shit. Uh. They ruined my life. There will be no boink. There will be no boink. <laughs> sentence, second sentence. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Oh god. I'm going to be honest. Getting back to um, Bruce, the um, Black Black Rose thing with Bruce, for, I will say I was kind of, I am kind of upset that they don't have like a um, thing where Bruce comes back at you, where the person comes back and says, "Oh yeah." Depending on how what your level is with them. Man, that, that saddens me that the uh, green screen isn't working with the cups. Damn. <laughs> will be no point. <laughs> you gotta pick. It's in the contract. This whole thing will blow up in our faces if you don't. It already did blow up in our faces because it did. Didn't everything already just blow up in our faces? <laughs> Exactly! Thank you! Drac is on the same page as me! Okay, poor wording. The show will be pulled and we'll all die horrible deaths at the hands of the Cabal. Fine. <laughs> when you put it that way... <laughs> If you want to chat with your newest enemies to lovers trope, we've got a little chapel right over there. Ta-ta! Fuck you. Fuck you, Burn. Balls? Why do they all have, like, pointy ears? Well, there's... 
Oh, I don't even talk to them. I just have to freaking pick one and be done with it. Um... Well... And we're going to episode two. Burn, baby, burn. And my castle's on fire. I'm going to... I think I'm going to save, find a save point. Well, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Love at First Bite. My god, what... What a way... What a way it's our... our Drac. Apparently a lot of more explosions and praying the frilling cripes that... At the other two, well, the genie, you know, I guess Medusa's not in too much bad shape. Why is, wow, that moon looks like it's going to crash into this place. All right, thanks everybody for coming by. Hope you enjoyed this episode of, of Romance Sylvania. Um, I'll be doing another stream that will be continuing this next what is today? Monday. Yeah, next Monday we'll be continuing this. Um, Sunday, of course, will be, as I said last night, will be more um, Morrowind. Um, and I'll, depending on how, how I feel next, after I get home from work, I might do another stream. Uh, we might do some more Yakuza. So, during that... Um, I don't know, maybe either Yakuza or what, shoot, what else other games do I have? Well, we'll, we'll just see what happens, so, uh, thanks for stopping by and, oh god, what a game, this, this is, <laughs> I don't know what to, um, make of it so far other than it's, it's trip. It's certainly a trip. So it's not uh, what I expected. A little bit... A little bit not... Because I'm used to... When I'm playing the like these kind of games, I'm more used to you know, getting the... Oh, why'd you pick me? Kind of the... Oh, and then kind of stuff like that. So um, the whole... Oh, here's your... Basically, here's your rose. Rose right through the floor thing kind of takes me a little bit hmm. so but I have a feeling that this is going to get really really uh these are going to pick up from here so all right uh, so all right I'm well like I said that's all for tonight thank you for coming by and um I'll see you if I don't stream in the next, see you here on Twitch in the next five days. I'll see you on next Sunday. Uh, my, I load, load stuff on YouTube. So I think the description's, it's in the below. Yeah, under, I forget where I put it. So anyway, it's uh, YouTube Casentino, so you can look me up there. So, uh, good night, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. We'll do this again next Sunday.